Without her husband, the Queen did somehow seem a little more frail, a little less certain. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall joined her on her carriage procession. But Prince Philip should have been there, and it did not feel the same without him. Tonight, the Queen is here alone. There are more public events in the weeks ahead, but it's unclear now how many of those will involve the Duke of Edinburgh. Tim at ITV News, Buckingham Palace. She had been forced to spend the biggest day of her Jubilee weekend without him. But at five o'clock today, almost exactly 48 hours since Prince Philip was admitted to hospital, the Queen was at his bedside. She was followed by Prince Andrew, driving himself, as always, in his Range Rover. The Queen stayed for just under an hour and seemed relaxed as she left. The Duke of Edinburgh was said to be in good spirits. It was left to Prince Andrew to give the latest update. Well, he's spending very well, thank you very much indeed. Glad to see you. The last time Prince Philip was in hospital over Christmas, he was discharged after four nights. The palace say he'll now be in for several days.